I think next year the qualifications requirement will mirror those that exist in 2019. However, um, I'm not necessarily sure you can really compare where we are now to what happened in 2019 because we've got a cohort of young people who've lived through the pandemic and undoubtedly that has continued to impact on their educational outcomes. We need to be very mindful of that. We're also living through a cost of living crisis and I'm very mindful that that is impacting on attainment. So these external factors can't be detracted. However, it is true to say we are making progress in relation to closing the poverty related attainment gap. So the gap has narrowed since 2019 and certainly for advanced hires it's narrowed since last year. I would like to see more progress Progress, undoubtedly and as we move forward I look forward to working with our school communities and our local authorities who have responsibility at local level for the delivery of education on that. Well, I think undoubtedly it's a concern for me, it's a real um, focus for the government in relation to our work around closing the poverty related attainment gap. We have made progress since 2019 but not as much as I would have liked us to have done. Um, we've made progress particularly in relation to advanced higher qualifications but there is more we will need to do. Of course there's record investment going into the Scottish Attainment Challenge, people equity funding. We also know that the gap in Primary 7 in Literacy and Numeracy is now starting to close. We had evidence of that published back in December, which is really, I think, welcome news. And we also have record numbers of young people going on to positive destinations. However, as we continue to recover from the pandemic, there is more the government will need to do and local authorities in relation to closing that gap because the ongoing challenges of the pandemic and the cost of living crisis really can't be ignored in that context.